Hi, and welcome to Sue Patton Quilts. Today, I'm going to be combining some ruler work with some free motion quilting. And today, I'm going to be using my Handy Quilter Straight Line Ruler because it has these fabulous etched lines on my ruler that are marked at a 45 degree angle, which will allow me to line it up with my pre-marked grid. I've placed a one inch grid using a pounce pad and a stencil that I purchased from Quilters Rule. It's 22 by 22, so it allows me to mark a large space. The pounce pad just basically wipes away, so when I'm done, it looks as though I've been extremely precise and accurate, when really I have these fabulous cheater lines to follow while I'm stitching. So let's get started. I'm going to start in my corner, I'm going to make sure that my ruler, that 45 degree angle, lines up with my pounced grid line so that when I take my ruler and slide it across, let me just make sure that this is actually lined up, I come from this corner up and I land right into the corner that I'm aiming for. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my ruler out of the way I'm going to come down and up, and I'm gonna needle down, turn my machine off, and I'm going to realign my ruler to line up with my next section. Once I have it all lined up, I am in stitch regulated mode, so now I'm simply going to follow that ruler down to this space, come up, come down, turn my machine off, realign my ruler, making sure that 45 degree angle is nicely lined up. You, when you use your ruler, it's all about precision, so take the time. Slow and steady always wins the race. When I get into that corner, I'm simply going to turn my machine off, move my ruler out of the way, down and up, needle down, realign my ruler, and off we go to the next section. Slide up, slide down, needle down, machine off. Realign that 45 degree angle so that I can slide perfectly into my next section. Needle down, move my ruler out of the way. Slide down, slide up, needle down, realign and slide into that corner. Now, when I get to this point, I'm simply going to shift my ruler this way so that I can follow that ditch all the way up perfectly to my next point. I'm then going to, oh, I need to go up a little bit further. I'm gonna go two inches up so that I create that diamond shape on the way back. I'm then going to take my ruler I'm going to line it up with my grid. Let's just make sure we're right in that corner there. That looks better to me. And I'm going to work back into the center. I'm going to move my ruler out of the way. Come up and in and out and in and up and in, ending right in the center. Replacing my ruler, finding the right grid, and up into the corner. When I get into this corner, I'm going to move my ruler out of the way, place my design for my next row, slide, align, into my corner, move my ruler out of the way, Fill in my free motion design, stop back in that corner, grab my ruler, oops, let's use this one here. I'm going to slide into that corner, move my ruler out of the way, place my next design, come back down, line up my 45 degree angle. Slide 
right into that corner. Out, back, up, back, out, back, stop in the center. Grab my ruler again. Oh, let's use this one here. Line it up. Slide right into my corner and I'm ready to do my next row. So what happens when I remove that pounce, just simply brushes away, quick and easy. No need for soaking your quilt or getting it wet. I have these fabulous, perfectly aligned diamonds with these tiny little flowers placed just perfectly in the center. I hope you've enjoyed today's quick tutorial on rulers and free motion quilting. And I hope to see you again on Free Motion Friday and Ruler Mania Monday. Thanks.